Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos about the Azureblox Python mode. In today's video we'll be taking a look around the Azureblox Python mode, having a look, quick look at the different features and where we can find what to get started with coding in Azureblox. So here we go, this is the main view of the Python mode. Um, if we just refresh the page so we can see the mode selector, uh, so to get into the Python 3 mode, um, if you're watching this video, uh, you may already be in the Python 3 mode, but if you're not, you can just press select and then you'll get into the main view. So let's have a look at different buttons and features of this mode. So on the left hand side, we have the toolbox and within the toolbox, we have different categories, uh, different menus of blocks. So the first one is imports where you find all the imports. The second one is variables. So if you want to create a variable, you'll just click create variable. A pop-up will show. Um, you'll type in the variable name, so we'll just call it variable. Press OK, and you get the two blocks of the variables. The first one to set it, and the second one to reference it in a block later on. The statements is where you'll find stuff like print, um, and calling a function and input. Logic is where you'll find your if statements and different logic functions. In lists, you'll find all the commands you need to deal with lists in Python. In loops, you'll find your while true and your for loops. In definitions, you'll find the blocks to create functions. In math, you'll find all of the math um, functions for the math library. In turtle, you'll find all the turtle blocks to draw some cool shapes and drawings. Graphs is using PyGal, which is the library which you use to create graphs. Random is all the functions for the random library. And processing is for processing there, so all the blocks for processing. Um, in the top left hand corner, we have the mode changer. So if you press that, it will ask you if you want to change modes. We won't change now. So that's how you do that. In the top left hand corner, in this box which says untitled, you will have the project name box. So if you want to rename the project, you can do that there. And then we have the menu, main menu at the top here. The first one is the new button, which you'll press if you want to create a new project. Uh, the open button is if you want to open a save project. Save button is if you want to save the code that's already in the editor. The samples menu is where you'll find some sample programs. So if we just load one of those up, you'll see it will automatically load um, the sample that I've just selected. In videos, you'll find the video tutorials like this one. Uh, the player can be dragged around. We'll just put that to the side. And the settings menu is where you can export the .py file and change the theme. So if you want to change it to dark mode, we can do that. And then the run button here is what will run the code. So if we just load up a sample, see if we press run, it will load and then it will do the turtle animation there. And we can press this exit button here to close that window. This little selector here is the blocks changer. So if you press that when you're in blocks mode, you'll get a Python text editor and then press it again, you'll get back to the blocks. If you want to delete a block in the editor, uh, you can just drag that into the little bin there and that'll get rid of it. Just load up the sample again. And these two buttons here will zoom in and out of the blocks. And then the button next to it will recenter the code in the middle there. So that's all there is to it. Um, follow one of the other video tutorials in the video tab to get started with some projects.